Hey everyone, welcome to Apple Golf Channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you a couple drills because really lately we have been talking about lagging and release. So this is the drills you can do at home without hitting balls or you can hit balls in the range and work on this type of drill. Really work on you understanding the spine angle and swing path, okay? So the first drill really you can do it with both legs, okay? First I'm gonna show you this is the left leg open drill. So I'm gonna show you the front view and the side view. So this is the front view. You can grab any club you like, even a driver, really open up in a 90 degree angle, okay? Remember, this is drills are working on your spine angle, maintaining spine angle and the path. So you can see right now, we already talked about the outside path, which is the left arm path. You can see you do a swing like this. First, you will work on your loading your right hip, okay? On the downswing, again, we're working on the motion and the path. Go ahead and move your hips and turn your body and throw your arms out to here. Now, the reason why I have you do this drill, believe me, by opening up your body, this actually feels very normal. Okay? The truth is, once you set up like this and do it, it feels really normal. A lot of times, you feel like you're going to fall over. But remember, we're working on trying to maintain spine angle and the path. So I'm going to show you one more time the front view. And the truth is right now you can see my obliques are pressed, my hips out of the way, okay? And this path feels comfortable, right? So now I'm going to show you down the line what it looks like. 90 degrees, right foot, left foot, turn, okay? So you can see right now the path is way out here. Okay, you can do this drill. Matter of fact, you can actually try to swing through the ball with this particular drill. All right, now we're going to go to your right foot. Same thing, you can do the exact same thing this time. This foot now, you want to make sure you maintain, you don't need to do a 90 degree. Okay, your right foot, you can do it what I call the 45 degree and slightly back, halfway back from your lee foot. Looks like kind of like this, 45 degree angle, okay? So now, this is the front view, same thing, working on maintaining spine angle and the path, okay? This is the front view, okay? This path is so important. If you wanna play carefree golf, this is the only path, okay? It's the only path. Same thing now, side view, okay? Okay? Now understand that the reason why I have you do this drills is because when you do have parallel line means your body stands, your setup, and it's actually very difficult if you don't have core pressure, most people, you're not able to maintain balance. That's the reason why a lot of times you will what? Come in inside. And the truth is, remember, we already talked about coming inside could be a lot of things. You're using your hand-eye coordination. You want to hit the ball really hard. You say that to yourself, don't miss the ball. All those drills I show you is really try to train your body to understanding that that's the position we're dealing with. But remember, a lot of times when people are doing this with your setup like this, you say, hey, I'm going to do this. You say, whoa, I'm falling over. Chances are you're not using your enough core, your core pressure. But having those two drills this way, this way, it will at least give you a little bit of balance but recognizing the proper path of the release path of the club. Now remember, while you're doing that, tell yourself this, repeat with me, your left arm is rotating, no square face impact position, rotation, 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 okay? Again, repeat with me, rotation of the left arm is so important because your lead arm has to rotate just like your body. All right, very good. So um, there's one more exercise. You can do it with a 
lightweight dumbbell, three pounders or five pounds, right? So um, Duffy, what do you call this? All right. If you have this at home, use it. What you call this, Duffy? Tire iron, right? So what is this? Lead hand over, trail hand under. Make sure this is not pointing at you, pointing at your chin, okay? Grab it like that, turn your hips, turn the core, just like what we've been talking about, FO golf, energy first, create energy first, create energy first. Okay, your right arm is gonna be bent because of the position, not because you wanna drag it in, okay? Then on the downswing, you will shift and turn your body. Watch this right now. Your right elbow is gonna be close to your obliques. And at this position, you can rotate your arms. It will finish look like that. You can see this is pointing out in a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna do it one more time from front view. Again, if you use a three pound dumbbell or five pound dumbbells, it still works. You're just holding the dumbbell like this. Okay, so we're going to do it one more time. Hip rotation, core rotation, relaxation of the arm, the neutral straight, not locking straight on the downswing, weight transfer, core rotation, core rotation, arm rotation. See, my arms are rotating. Okay, now I'm going to show you the side view. Okay, one more time, hip rotation, core rotation, relaxation of shoulders, downswing, shift, turning up a torso from your core rotation, do not try to press your shoulder down like this, okay, turn, keep turning the core, rotation of the hands and the arms. All right, so those are the three exercises for you to work on your lagging and your release. All right, everyone, thank you for watching our channel. Click like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment, email me. All right, so um, you have a good night. Thank you.